I grew up with a great respect for, for first responders, for police and firemen, and I started to see a need here. And we said, you know what, these guys, they're competing in the most important sport that they'll ever compete in, it's life. Every single day they put their life on the line to protect us. We're helping athletes you know, get to the next level, but these guys are the true heroes. These are the guys that need the training more than anybody. So we saw a need and we just fulfilled that need. in New Jersey, came out here initially to play basketball at Oral Roberts University, um, you know, went through something in my own life, ended my basketball career, and I thought, hey, what's the, what's the second best thing? If I can't play the sport, maybe I can help other guys be successful at the sport, and that's the kickstart to my whole strength and conditioning uh, and coaching career, was at Oral Roberts University as a young intern, then a graduate assistant, then the director of strength and conditioning, and that just propelled my career within the strength and conditioning world and the fitness industry. I met him uh, when I was uh, graduated from ORU. I was working out and I just wanted uh, something a little more and I knew that they, uh, he was with the uh, strength and conditioning and I just wanted to work out around, around you know, the athletes, not just in the commercial gym that they had at the aerobic center. I started an internship at my church. I set aside a year of my life uh, and just wanted to make myself a little bit better version of me that I could be. And it was during that time that, that JC approached me and said, hey, uh, I know you're doing the internship, I've got a job for you. So he introduced me to Boot Camp Tulsa, which was a major shock to my system, because I used to have like a low level social anxiety. And uh, you know, him putting me in front of a group of 50 women who were just hungry to work out, terrified me at first, you know. But, but it started to work for me, and, uh, and now, I mean, I just, I, I love coaching. I was a strength coach at the Division One level, started Boot Camp Tulsa, Tulsa's number one fitness program, program for women, I launched Dynamic Sports Development, sports performance facility where we train athletes from nine years old to the professional level. But we had a lot of friends within law enforcement. Our Fit First Responders Foundation, I should say, we, it's a foundation, it's a nonprofit. We have year-round training that's open to any first responder, military, EMSA, police, sheriffs, anybody that's out there every single day protecting our streets. Being a police officer or you know a fireman or a medical personnel that's out there on the street, I mean, it's a physically demanding job. Yeah, we don't know one minute to the next what's going to happen on the job, I and mean, we can go from you know sitting down and enjoying a nice cup of coffee in our car to jumping out and being a full dead sprint. I think here, hearing some officers say, you know what, I got in a foot pursuit and I chased the guy, I caught the bad guy, and I wasn't sucking wind by the end of it. I wasn't doing that anymore. You know, seeing. Seeing them carry over, even the SWAT team guys, talk about when they do their, their training drills, uh, to see them say, you know what, I'm moving better. I can, I can actually feel my body stronger. Some guys have to carry a shield, and they're talking about how much easier it is to carry the entry shield, things along those lines. Our goal once a year is we put together a 25-week challenge where we put an incentive out there. This year we teamed up with Jim Glover, okay? So we're giving away a $40,000 truck. Just to get people that kickstart they need, that extrinsic motivation to say, hey, if a truck won't motivate you free and clear, you can win a truck over 25 weeks. They come through, they compete in physical fitness, they compete, it's an external transformation, the actual body transformation, the weight loss, the muscle gain, all that great stuff. But even more important than that, it's about winning in life. I think it's huge above all else because so many people see cops and they think they're these robotic, you know, I've got to be at the super professional level. We get to see them the way I look at all my clients, as people that have goals and want results in life. But to see these people come in here on a day-to-day -day basis, you see real people that sometimes go through real problems in their own personal lives, and we're here for them. No matter what's going on in their life, that's what we're here for. I mean, this, this, is, this is as good as it gets. It's one-on-one it's one -on -one, uh, instruction. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's outlined, so anybody that's starting for the first time or has been a veteran in, uh, you know, doing CrossFit or any kind of high intensity working out, I mean, you're just getting, you're getting 100% focused on you and they're really concerned about how you develop and, and, and your progress and your success in this program. Uh, and, and I just like the dedication on their part and, and the focus that they're putting on me. You know, you have guys that just say, you know, I'm more confident as an officer. I feel like I'm more equipped to do my job. As a citizen, also as a coach, that gives me peace of mind. And I believe in life, you live to give. So 
So for us here, we feel like we're sowing a lot into them and we feel like we're getting it back just from hearing these phenomenal, tremendous stories.